Hey there guys, Corey here with Android Community. Today we're checking out the brand new LG Optimus G. Um, just arrived here for us. Um, this is not retail packaging, um, but uh, this is the 4G LTE version from the Now Network. Um, so, we've already seen the Optimus G plenty. We saw it in Korea when they announced it on um, this brand new quad core powerhouse, but uh, it's coming to a couple carriers here in the US. And uh, so, let's just go ahead and unbox it real quick and, and give you a look, um, although we've already seen plenty about it. Um, pricing and uh, exact release dates haven't quite been announced by the two carriers here in the U.S. Um, so far, but from uh, from what we've heard, it's coming soon here. But here's the phone, real quick. We're gonna set that aside. Obviously, this is not retail boxing, so we have a uh, little bit of paperwork here for for me. Well, paperwork in the form of a USB stick. A little lanyard comes with the phone, and then the charging uh, cable, through, you know, USB cable and. Uh, power cord so not a lot there inside the box so far but I'm sure the final retail packaging will have a little bit different there but as you can see here it's the Optimus G and uh, we know plenty about this phone already we saw it in Korea um, but what we have here is not the 18p version but the Now Network's 13 megapixel uh, packing um, device so let's go ahead and let you see it here and the one thing you'll notice immediately out of the uh, gate is there's no carrier branding on this phone. Um, we have that uh, crystal reflex technology on the back. Um, don't quite call it glass, but it seems like glass. It makes it extremely sturdy. And then right out the gate, you can see that a little bit of a, a bulge here. And that is because this has the 13 megapixel camera. It's retained that along with the original um, Optimus G. So, other than that, we have that 4.7 inch display with the 768 by 1280 HD resolution. This is the IPS Plus True HD screen from LG and it truly just it looks great um, so far but as you can see here the phone is super thin and uh, it's lightweight, feels good and uh, you can see they got a nice little animation here. Um, I actually really like the lock screen when you go to unlock you start to see kind of what's underneath the screen. You can see that one more time it's quite pretty. And the same thing happens with uh, the camera or any of these little uh, widgets down below for a quick, quick instant unlocking right to the camera. Goes right to that, that camera. But really quickly here, uh, we already know plenty, but this is a 1.5 GHz quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro processor. We have 2 gigs of RAM. This has a 2100 milliamp hour battery, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and the 4G LTE SIM card is embedded inside the device. So sadly, you can't remove the back, but on bottom is two screws here, as you can see here. So the, the SIM card is embedded, the battery is not removable, and it does not have removable storage with a micro SD either. So we do have 32 inside, which is, is plenty. Um, not even going to talk about that rumored LG Nexus definitely doesn't have enough storage but screws on the bottom microphone and then the three point or the uh, 